Hello everybody and welcome back to Shamrock Valley. So I was just trying to tidy up this field again, but for some reason this windrow just doesn't work anymore. I suppose if it was sold and then rebought it would do, so I, I don't know. But anyway, what I'm going to do is actually bail the field. I was initially not going to, but just very recently, I think it was yesterday, there was a new mod released by Black Sheet Modding, and it is the new bail fork which I'm really looking forward to using so this is a bit of an opportunity to use that uh, it's this one just here the spino or spino uh, yeah so you can customize the color of the frame and of the the sort of tines there the grabs um, teeth what are they called hooks I don't know um, but yes you can you can customize that fully so it's a nice idea I think I do quite like the uh, actually that looks quite good Okay, well it's the first one I went for, we'll go with it. I'm going to buy that outright, and then the baler, we don't really have a baler, we have um, a conventional baler, but that's obviously not going to be big enough for the two thirds which we have here. So if I just go into the baling technology section, we will go for something a bit more appropriate. That looks good. Very good. So I'll just first of all take this back over to the placeable yard. I think it is about time I put a building up, so I will put a building up, just so we've got somewhere to put all these machines, because at the moment it's just a bit of a dumping ground, and I don't really want it just to look like I'm dumping stuff, so if, if there is just at least one shed, that would be much better, because it's just going to look so much neater, and it's just easier as well, easier to organise different things. We do have several machines here that could go into a shed, obviously we've got the tracked class tractor, the cultivator, the mowers, and also we've got the wheel loads just there as well. So I think if if before we do anything, we just go into here, choose sheds. I'm just going to use the default standard shed from the base game. It's pretty big, so you can, you can get quite a few things into it. I think this side here probably is the best side for it. Um, and like I said, I don't know when the Straw Harvest DLC or Straw Harvest add-on is going to be released. So I'm not going to pretend that I'm still going to be on this map when it is released because I just don't know when it is going to be. I think it might be on Sunday Bay when we do all that sort of stuff. But because there is no real release date, I don't think, uh, it's all going to be just when it happens. It happens when it happens. So yeah, I'm not going to arrange this yard sort of in preparation for it because there's no point. It might not ever happen in this Let's Play. Okay, so I think as well, I'll leave the mowers there, but I will put the uh, the cultivator and this tractor in the shed as well. Because they are just dumped. The mowers will probably be used again very, very soon. But yeah, I just have absolutely no idea why that windrow was doing that. It might be that somebody commented in yesterday's video. The problem is, when I record these videos, uh, when I've recorded the second video, so today's video, the previous video, yesterday's video, hadn't actually been published yet. So, as I'm saying this, nobody has actually seen the previous episode yet. That's the issue with having to uh, create videos a couple of days in advance. But, uh, yeah, obviously, I'll read the comments. Somebody might have picked up on the reason why. Hopefully it's something simple. I would say if we just bought it and sold it, it would probably fix it. But, who's to say? Right, so we're going to have to try our best with the... Uh, with the baler. I know it is very messy, but there's not much I can do, really. But yeah, when it's baled and we've got the quadrant bales, we can then start to pick the bales up. Now, I'm wondering if if this is the best way of doing it, actually, because, yeah, the way this is going to work is, ideally, you need three together. Now, I don't know if there is usually another tool to put three together. I actually don't know, because I know you can get like, um, I don't know what they're called exactly, but like a drag sort of thing, which sits behind a baler, collects a few up, like three together, and then drops three together instead of just doing one. So yeah, I, I, I don't know if that is, I think that is the way you would tend to work with these things. But it's only like a demonstration, which I'll demonstrate the new mod, because there was one in FS15, I'm not too sure about 17, and I really did love it. I'm not too sure if it was black, by Black Sheet Modding, but uh, yeah, whoever made it, they did a good job. 
Right, okay, so yeah, you can see we've got some fairly decent swaths here. We do also have a very small amount of grass over in the muddy field, but that really is a very small amount of grass, so uh, nothing which is going to add up to too much. So we effectively have two swaths side by side in, in various areas, which is frustrating, but like I say, not much we can do about it. So I'll just very quickly do this. Hopefully we get quite a few. I don't think there's been a mod release for 19 which allows you to put three bells together uh, from the baler. I'm not too sure. I might have overlooked it. Sometimes I do overlook some mods because there's actually quite a lot of mods released. And I think actually at this stage there's been more mods released for 19 than there was for 17 at the same time. Um, so that's very impressive. It means that the, the modders are certainly still doing an incredibly good job. It, better than ever, actually. I think we all have to admit that this game is kept alive by the modders. I mean, the work that they do is just outstanding. It really is good. You need the base game to begin with, but the modders keep it going. And usually I would say, for example, let's look at what we're doing now and every every single thing which I'm using would be a mod but actually uh, one of the one of the things here the tractor is not a mod uh, but usually yeah nearly everything I use is modded or even a base game machine which is modded in some way the map for example yeah that, that's that is a fantastic example actually if it wasn't for the modders and mappers uh, we would be on just two maps, Felsbrunn and Ravenport. Obviously Felsbrunn is actually a pretty decent map, but if we were still on it after all this time, it would get a little much. Like, we'd be now a year and two months into it on the same map. So yeah, anyway, just trying to show my appreciation to modders. It, it really is uh, amazing the work they do. Just trying to collect the final amount, which shouldn't be an issue. We've got four percent left for this bale. There we go. Not much point in collecting anymore because I've got it set to ten thousand liters capacity. Uh, so that's good. We've dropped more off the back. Let's just fold it back up again. And yeah, a decent amount of bales. Like I just said, we have ten thousand liters crammed into the final two, uh, but the others are four thousand liters. And you can see how many more bales you do get. It's easier to have them set higher, but not quite as realistic but it just makes things a little bit easier so yeah what I'm going to do is go back over to the other farm the lower farm pick up a bell trailer I think we do have some kind of uh, trailer what do we have we've definitely got the uh, sort of rotten lizard one I say rotten more like broken uh, I quite like it though I'll just put this here for now. I might need it again later. And yes, we do have... Where did I put it? It's probably... Hmm. I thought it was just around the corner, but then again, I might be wrong. Ah, there it is. It currently has the potatoes on there. So actually, I think I might get another one of these because they are just not very expensive. They're very handy. Really useful. Yeah, it doesn't need to be anything too fancy. Well, it isn't going to be too fancy, but yeah, that's fine. Just keep it as the default. I'm wondering if it will fit to this. Now it is actually for telehandlers, front loaders and wheel loaders. That means there really shouldn't be any issues with this. It's just sometimes with mods um, they can be classed as something different but as it is covering all three categories there, there really shouldn't be any issue. The only issue I am going to have is this doesn't have a tow bar or at least it doesn't have one for a trailer like what we've just bought. So we are going to have to tow with another tractor, but since the fence tractor is already here, that's not really going to be an issue. Personally, I prefer to use a telehandler for this, 
but because we don't have one, this is the next best thing. Do I have to configure it to be set up for a wheel loader? Most likely. It certainly looks the part. It's a very good looking machine. Uh, yeah, so there's the trailer. Ready to go. I think we should be able to fit two, four, six, maybe eight, sixteen. Hopefully sixteen bells on there, maybe even more. But we will see. I think I would prefer to do that really small field, the muddy field, with the conventional baler. Because there's barely anything anyway. It's a little bit too tight for this bigger machinery. Right, so yeah, as I said, we should really have the bells already collected up. But that's not going to prevent me from actually trying this out. Now, I think that... Well, actually, I might be wrong, actually, with that. Because I think this might be um, purely for two. Just for two. Let's just see how we open it. Okay, that's nice and simple. Just turn off the course play. Change the control for it. Yeah. Actually, that's really easy to use. That's... that's Brilliant. Whoa! That's a uh, bounty. And then down next to another bale, just there. Let's just get that lifted up and then grab down again. Great! Nice and simple. I think it would be better if I had that a little bit closer, but this is my first time properly using it, so it is a, an interesting idea. And looking at it uh, much more closely now, I don't know if you tend to have the bales together or if you would be expected to go and pick one up and take it to another I really don't know but with a bit of luck this is going to be uh, a relatively easy task and this is going to go straight to the sheep because the sheep are desperate for their grass in fact whatever they have now is everything that they have so I don't know what they've got but it can't be too much Okay, well, 81,000 litres. But yeah, that is everything. They have no more grass in storage. That's the exact reason why I've done this. But so far, so good. That was surprisingly easy to pick up the first two bells. I'll try again. Maybe it was uh, beginner's luck. <laughs> Maybe. Let's just see. Okay, so straight up to it. Push it up against the bulkhead. Make it nice and square. Lock it in. Lift up. Nice and easy. What if we're sort of going uphill? What would that do for things? Again, I can only apologise for the messy grass here. I did windrow it, but decided not to work. Yes, I want to be as close as possible. That's good. If, you, if you've got an articulated machine, you can sort of nudge the two together. That's very good. Very, very good. Well, black sheet modding, in my opinion, is probably the best modder for bell spikes, bell handling uh, because, the, well, the other claw grab, I should have called them claws before, claw grab is uh, by Black Sheep Modding and that's the only one I pretty much use, so yeah, really, really good work and flush up with the others, I did guess, as you saw before, that there might be 8 per level, not too sure if we will fit 8 on but with a bit of luck there will be, especially if I nudge them like that. Get it nice and close. I want to be on the trailer as much as possible. Well, that does seem like a fairly easy way. We can get two more on there, so two for six, not eight. But I think we can probably go two or three high. So I shall continue with the strobe machine. I just love the strobes, it just looks silly when you're in the field. Uh, so I'll keep them off, but yeah, nice machine.
Well, it is a really good tool to use. I think the uh, random flipping upside down of the wheel loader is probably some kind of mod conflict. I don't know which mods it is, but two mods clearly don't like each other. I mean, I don't think it's the uh, the grab. It's supposed to be tested by giants anyway, um, and also I just can't see how it would do that. I think just two mods don't like each other. So um, yeah, we have four left on the ground here, but the trailer is full. So let's just see if we can go any higher. Would that lift any higher? No, it's not going to be able to do that. So I think what I'll do is I'll take the uh, the trailer over there. It's most likely going to automatically unload quite a few of them. And then we'll come back and fill it up again with the final four. Please don't tip over. <laughs> yeah, just realised as I was turning the bend that I was probably going a little bit too fast for the amount of weight at the top. Single axle trailer. Then again... The wheel loader isn't going to have a massive issue picking it up. But it's not ideal. So, yeah, I, I think it's probably going to take about half the trailer. The sheep field is only here. Now these are the same sheep which I started collecting in the previous map. Um, and yeah, obviously we're going to, going to go through here and then we'll, we'll continue them even further on Sandy Bay. But on Sandy Bay, it would be good to have some other animals as well. But not pigs. I don't think we'll do pigs anymore. Once we've done them on this map, we'll, uh, we'll sell them. Right. Okay, they're disappearing. That's good. But half a trailer was my prediction. That's good enough. So we'll head back again. Seems a bit long-winded, but yeah, we'll head back and put the final four on the front of the trailer. But those sheep now have all the grass they could ever want. That's 122,000 litres. Wow. The curse of the gigantic ratchet strap. Ooh. I did put them together just to try and make it easier. If you've got the uh, easy development mod installed, you can put super strength on and move these bells together manually. Which I found does work, although, yeah, it's uh, not the best thing to be looking at, but it does work. It does seem nice and easy, though. The way the claws just grip in. And the way they pull out as well. So there we have it, the new bell handling grab by Black Sheep Modding, available on ModHub, please do check it out, and you probably won't have the uh, strange flipping over issue which I've had, because like I say, I think it's just two mods which are not agreeing, possibly the, um, don't want to point fingers, but possibly the added realism mod for the, the wheel slip and stuff, because that is in a way, changing the way that the machinery is responding physics. Like I say, I don't know, but it's just a, a bit of a guess there. So let's, uh, let's go and take this over to the sheep as well, and they can keep the trailer handy. Unlimited food supply, pretty much. And that'll be it for today. I think we'll just keep it there. So, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.